Good morning and welcome to another informative episode of Housing Development, your go-to source for housing information in Nigeria and beyond. Baraka the Salah to all our Muslim viewers. I am Flora Ani, your housing diva. A lot has happened over the week in the housing sector. Let's get to see the trend in housing news. I'll be back shortly. The Federal Capital Territory will host the 15th Abuja International Housing Show next week. The biggest housing fiesta in the country is expected to bring together local and international stakeholders, policy makers, real estate developers, building technology companies, building materials sellers, and others to discuss and network. Coordinator of the event, Festus Adebayo, giving an insight into the event and how it will provide solutions to issues in the housing sector says the Abuja International Housing Show is meant to promote affordable housing in Nigeria. It is also aimed at bringing together stakeholders from all over the world to network, interact, discuss and come up with ideas to develop the sector. This has been done for the last 14 years. Honorable Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Raji Fashala SAN, recently led stakeholders to call on professionals in both the building and financial sectors to align with government initiatives by investing in the sustainable building of homes through methods that are energy efficient, eco-friendly and cost effective in addressing the current urban housing gap. Fashola made the call during the third edition of Lafarge Africa's Concrete Ideas Forum, a quarterly platform for strategic discussions of critical and topical issues in the areas of building and road construction. The event had as its theme New solutions for Nigeria's urban housing. The minister specifically called on industry practitioners to acquaint themselves with modern housing needs and start redesigning homes through concerted urban renewal programs. Experts in the real estate sector are urging the government to introduce policies that would attract investors and mitigate challenges in the industry. During an event at the weekend, they stressed the need for partnership with the government to bridge the housing deficit in Nigeria. Chief Executive Officer of Convey Estate, Samuel Oni, disclosed plans strategically tailored to bridge the housing gap, provide millions of jobs through affordable subscriptions and participation options for low-income families. He notes that providing affordable housing to millions of Nigerians from all strata of society, in line with the new urban agenda and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal of promoting sustainable cities and communities, would boost the economy of the country. What is the name of my grandson? Suleiman. That's a good name. May the Almighty preserve him. Amen. Now that your family is growing, this is the time for you to start thinking of a house of your own. Abba, the thought of this has always been on my mind. To build a house now, you need a lot of money. And that is what is holding me back. Sunny, what you need is a mortgage. NHF Mortgage Loan. With NHF Mortgage Loan, you own a house up front and pay gradually over a long period of time. Abba, I will go to the FMBN office right away. Come join us at FMBN and let's shelter Nigeria together. Welcome back. For full details of the news, visit www.africanhousingnews.com. Family Homes Funds Limited has successfully completed Nigeria's first Securities and Exchange Commission registered corporate to cook worth 10 billion naira and a seven year 13% bond. Housing Development Correspondent covered the event. Family Homes Funds Limited, through Family Homes to Cook Issuance Program PLC, 
has successfully completed the issuance of 10 billion Naira 7 years 13% Series 1 Ijara Lee's Sukuk due 2028 under the 830 billion Naira Sukuk issuance program. Chairman of FHFL, Suleiman Barao, alongside the Managing Director and CEO, Femi Adewale, speaking in Abuja at the signing ceremony, says with this issuance on a 30 billion Naira bond, comes a commitment to further strengthen finance development of affordable housing in Nigeria, put more families in homes and create more jobs in the process. The great leap we are witnessing today is possible because of the kind support we receive um, from the Honorable Minister um, you know, Hasep, who on behalf of Mr. President and the federal government has been the backbone of the Family Homes Funds. By her special focus on Family Homes Funds, the Honorable Minister has through her great leadership um, skills always provided the necessary back it needed uh, for the institution to deliver effectively uh, on its mandate, including being the first to issue corporate Sukuk bond. So the credit must go um, to her and indeed to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The net proceeds of this insurance will finance new homes for Nigerians, particularly those who are on low income across our great nation. It will contribute to our objective of developing up to 200,000 homes by December 2022 under our corporate plan. This is a landmark event in the unfolding history of what is a very young organization, but with a strong vision to transform the housing market by making safe, decent housing accessible to the overwhelming proportion of our population, particularly those who are on low income. According to FHFL, the book build process for the transaction was launched on Friday, June 25, 2021, and completed on Tuesday, July 6, 2021. The issuance was launched at a rental rate of 13% per annum. Notwithstanding current market dynamics and volatility, this debut transaction had tremendous support from the debt capital markets. Meanwhile, Minister of Finance Zainab Ahmed, represented by Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, congratulating FHFL on this feat, says President Mohamed Bwari has a deep interest to provide accommodation for Nigerians and would provide necessary support to achieve it. Also, representatives of issuing houses elated at this major breakthrough for the Nigerian capital markets say this is a major boost for the nation's economy. On behalf of the federal government of Nigeria, I would like to congratulate the Family Homes Funds, the DMO and the SEC and other people who made this and other partners who made this happen and all the professional parties involved in this great success today. I believe that this has been a very long and demanding journey for which we should all commend the board and management of Family Homes Funds and all the parties related to this issuance and for getting us to where we are today. It's been an arduous journey and the Family Homes Fund team have subjected themselves to ratings. They've subjected themselves to sessions with Frace. I believe there were about four of those sessions that we attended. And here we are today celebrating the fact that Family Homes Sukuk Insurance Program PLC has established a 30 billion Sukuk Insurance Program and we set out to raise 10 billion, but the book was in excess of 25 billion. So congratulations to the Family Homes Fund team. Congratulations on the issuance of the first ever certified uh, corporate Sukuk issuance in the Nigerian capital market. Chairman Family Homes Funds reiterates that this step by FHFL is a part of strategies implemented to address the Nigerian housing deficit and was achieved with support of Baruch Capital Limited, Chapel Hill Denham, Metropolitan Law Firm, Central Bank of Nigeria, among others. The chance to be a homeowner in Abuja is here, thanks to Demark Integrated Projects Limited, unveiling the Demark Hillview Estate in Kubwa, Abuja, which boasts of luxury flats with the option of two or three bedrooms with flexible payment plans. 
DeMarc Hillview Estate features water body supply and borehole, dedicated transformer, adequate drainage systems, spacious ensuite bedrooms, and CCTV with 24 hour on site monitoring. We also have duplexes in Kabusa and City Gate. For inquiries, visit DeMarc Hillview Estate behind Liberty Hotel near Living Faith Church, Biajin, Kubwa, Abuja. You can visit our website, www.demarcprojects.com, or send an email to demarcprojects at gmail.com. You can also call 0803 4506 661 or 0802 6384 618 or 0815 7002 799. Demarc Hillview Estate, a place you can call home. A good step there from Family Homes fans, as this will not just help finance development of affordable housing in Nigeria, but also create more jobs. I'll be back in a moment. You're watching Housing Development. The Nigerian Institute of Building has inducted new members into its College of Fellows with a task to contribute to policy issues and generate ideas for the progress of the nation and the industry. The induction ceremony and dinner was held recently in Abuja. Let's have a look. The Nigerian Institute of Building has inducted new members into its College of Fellows with a mandate to contribute to policy formulation and implementation and also to the generation of ideas to the progress of the real estate and construction industry. President Nigerian Institute of Building, Kunle Awobodo, at the induction ceremony and dinner which held recently in Abuja, said the mandate and importance of builders to the development of Nigeria's building sector cannot be overemphasized and should not be swept under the carpets. We say this with a sense of responsibility to protect lives and property. Expertise in an environment of teamwork from design to construction, with each participant playing his part, remains formula to successful building project delivery. Speaking at the 2021 Fellows Induction Ceremony and Dinner, Kunle Awobodo added that only registered builders are permitted by the Nigerian law to construct, maintain, and deconstruct and this must be respected on all building sites across the nation. Fellow builders expressed worry over decades of underinvestment in the real estate sector and urged stakeholders to address challenges limiting housing development in the country. We are also required to mentor the younger ones and lead them in the path of true professionalism. May I also charge you that there is no final bustle in the search for useful knowledge. Lifelong learning should be your watchword. We have high expectations of you. 
Kunle Awobodo admonished the conferees and other builders to always be conscious that they are required to ensure safe and sustainable shelter for Nigerians, which is only possible if every participant in a building project plays their part well. Fully persuaded about the need for a more sustainable, modern, creatively crafted and functional design, Urban Shelter Limited has developed yet another masterpiece that so easily breaks the borders of creativity and dispels mediocrity. Well seated and over 210,000 square meter of land and marked for housing development, the Promenade Estate is located in an excellent part of the Federal Capital Territory, Lokogoma, a central point in Abuja. Proximal to most places of relative significance and attraction and edged by multiple access roads where homeowners can swiftly meet up with schedules and appointments. Pushing the frontiers of communal living, the Promenade Estate has within its borders two-bedroom and four-bedroom semi-detached for the purpose of facilitating communal living, while homeowners have well-defined mutually exclusive spaces. The Promenade Estate appeals to the minds of intellectuals, professionals and homeowners who have a thirst for a house that sits comfortably on global standard. Urban shelter setting the pace. Welcome back. When it comes to housing and the environment, we face serious challenges from affordable housing shortages to climate change. However, smart apartments can help us put a dent in both. It's more than having a voice assistance in your kitchen. Smart apartments represent a fundamental shift in how we live. The next report coming up looks at how Nigeria can tap into the huge benefit of smart living. While it is difficult to exactly define a luxury home, experts agree that it is a home that exudes affluence, is out of the ordinary, signifies quality, extraordinary, and offers the best comfort at a high level. This comes at a cost believed, if properly unearthed, could positively impact the Nigerian economy. Major players within the housing sector agree that Nigeria's real estate sector is currently flourishing thriving at a significant rate post-COVID-19. This has come with a greater demand for more smart homes, which combine leave, work and play features. A lot of people might find this uh, probably not connecting to them. But luxury homes, I, I, a home is a home. And uh, if it's not luxury, it means you're still planning to change it tomorrow. And I think luxury defines lifestyle. So a luxury home is not just a home for you, it was an asset for you. And it will shock you to know that. If you have a luxury home, there are a lot of things you could do with it. Uh, because even of the insecurity nature of Nigeria, as it is right now, which we're not praying it stands uh, so much. But then, imagine having a luxury home and you're traveling abroad or for vacation. That luxury home could be an asset for you, fetching your money here and there. And outside that, why would you want to go to the hotels or the bar if you have a luxury home that could just be your vacation spot? So I think luxury homes are just uh, uh, a, a better spot. Just like beauty, luxury is said to be in the eyes of the beholder. And for many people, this means the need for a higher level of comfort, privacy, premium security, excellent road network, among others. Luxury homes speak of smart features such as security system, curtains that can operate both on a smart thermostat and sunlight. Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, Nilt Realty Limited, Abubakar Ahmed, says smart homes are the new trends within the housing sector, promoting and enhancing the energy saving culture in Nigeria. He also emphasized the need for those who desire to remain relevant to integrate technology into the housing sector while retaining an aim to provide affordable apartment types that would also cater to people 
with lower purchasing power. For one, it helps in uh, reduction in energy consumption. Uh, as we know, energy uh, is one of our greatest challenges in this part of the world. And when it comes to energy consumption, as a lot of us can bear and understand, uh, prices have been increasing and on the rise. So with eco-friendly homes, you actually save more on your energy consumption, uh, thereby saving you the cost of constantly having to pay uh, you know, exorbitant amounts for uh, consumption of energy. According to Strategy Analytics, a data analyzing company, as of 2020, more homes were considered smart homes, creating a reliance of residents on security systems, speakers, smart light bulbs, and other technology to keep their homes safer and more comfortable. Of greater importance to developers advocating for a higher buy into smart homes is the need to offer multifunctional apartments that incorporate residential, relaxation, and work features without residents stepping out. It's just four days to the 15th Abuja International Housing Show, the largest housing and construction event in Africa. One of its partners, Shelter Afrique, Pan African Housing Finance Organization, who holds the Nigerian housing finance stakeholders at the 15th AIHS. The fourth day of AIHS has been marked for Shelter Afrique to interact, network with housing practitioners and stakeholders from various parts of Nigeria and those who will be coming from also outside the country. It will be an avenue for practitioners and real estate developers in Nigeria to ask questions on matters relating to assessing fund for low-cost housing through Shelter Africa. All practitioners in the housing industry are encouraged to participate and attend the forum and meet with chief executives and management team of Shelter Africa and also get to network with CEOs of government-owned housing finance institutions. housing show for giving us this opportunity and we are so pleased to interact with the people in the audience here they are showing a lot of interest and curiosity thank you very much have a nice day Abuja is phenomenal. It's it's a great experience and definitely we have some great exposure. Everyone here has obviously got some great things to offer and visit us at our stand because we have some great offers for you in Dubai. This is our second time of attending this show. The first time was last year and um, it was a very successful show and that's why we have decided to come back here again this year. And from what we've been able to notice, we know that even the show is even growing better and better. And um, apart from that, um, this show allows you the opportunity to meet with so many people in the beauty industry. And what it does again is it exposes your product to people that um, are ready to embrace change or embrace um, new technology when it comes to um, building and projects and um, stuff like that. The CEO of the Abuja Housing Show is a great guy. He's a fine gentleman, very innovative. He started this quite small and progressively he's uh, uh, transformed the vision into a global brand. This event is now a global brand. It's gone beyond Nigeria, it's gone beyond Africa. People coming from North America, South America, Europe, Asia, African countries have made it their home exhibition. It is the benchmark for housing shows in Africa, and maybe I should say globally. Abuja International Housing Show, uh, as you know, for any developer, not just in Abuja or in Nigeria, but globally, that wants to tap into the real estate market in Nigeria. If you are not at the Abuja International Housing Show, 
then I, I, I don't think you're ready. You, you've lost the plot. Uh, because truly to be there is an amazing and phenomenal thing. And for uh, anyone who would come to the stands of Neil Drilty, uh, what you would definitely get to experience when you come to our stand is understanding the concept of luxury housing and relating it also with eco-friendly builds and affo relative affordability as well. And so we invite everyone not just to come to our stand, but to come to the event where there's going to be a meeting or a congregation of numerous stakeholders in the housing industry across the globe and across the country. That's it on today's episode of the program. Thanks for watching. See you at the 15th Abuja International Housing Show. I'll be there to bring you live recordings of the event. I remain Flora Annie, your housing diva.